Hey, what's going on, y'all? Cardmaster Craig here, and today I got a very special treat for y'all. We are going through part of my vintage collection. Let's take a look at base, fossil, and jungle. Stick around, and I got a special treat for everyone. If you can find two of the cards that I have in my collection that are in a different language and be the first one to guess it, Maybe I have a card from my personal collection that I'll send out to the winner. See if you can find them both, comment below, and I will let you know. But let's get it. Alright y'all, Cardmaster Craig here, and as you can see we got base, jungle, and fossil in that order. Now before we start with base, I have a lot of Black Star promos, and I'm talking original Wizards of the Coast promos. Things like... Coro Coro Jigglypuff. Look at this Psyduck. Pokemon Snap Pikachu. The original surfing Pikachu. We got an Igglybuff. This is the Ivy Pikachu, which actually there are very, very rare copies of this. I'm talking like <laughs> barely any that appear in some original print runs of Jungle. Now this is just the Black Star promo, but also we got the Pokemon Tower Stadium card, the Wizards of the Coast, and check it out. I also just threw this old Diamond and Pearl Monferno. I also had these hollow, I think these were another Diamond and Pearl set promos. Same thing with this Chimchar. That's just the Evolution Speak I just snuck in there. I got another Iggly buff, and uh, I forget which one the Piplup and Chimchar were from, but I also have these two hollow energy cards from the uh, I forget it's gotta be jungle that might be 2000 I actually forget which series these are from but I always like these I actually pulled them out one of those cheap sort of hey pay quarter get some cards sort of things but let's get into it now as you can notice I am missing a few when I uh, collected base I never really collected too many of them but I did manage to pull bangers like Chansey, Clefairy, my personal favorite, the original Gyarados, and notice anything? Shadowless. I actually bought a Shadowless from a Hitmonchan before the boom came because I wanted one really bad. As you can see, here, I have a couple more. Got the Hollow Mewtwo, that's in good condition. Hollow Nidoking, Ninetales. Polyrath, Raichu, Venusaur. Funny story about this. I pulled a Charizard in one of my first packs ever. Traded it to my buddy for Venusaur because I couldn't find one. <laughs> Neither of us ever got a Charizard and or Venusaur again. <laughs> I'm glad I have the Venusaur. I do miss the Charizard though. But take a look. All these cards are nice and preserved in a soft sleeve and there's no other card in there too. So it might not be in minty condition, but it's darn near, near mint, which isn't bad. Then you start getting into some of the non-hollows of the set. Beedrill, my favorite Dragonair. Oh, oh, don't look. Don't look at it. I might leave that last bit in. My dad just interrupted. He's like, I'm going to Walgreens. <laughs> oh, dad. We got a Doug Trio over here. Electabuzz, Electrode, one of my favorites, Pidgeotto. So mad they didn't reprint him in Evolutions. I mean, Pidgey, Pidgeotto. You do the Pidgeotto EX? Okay, but still. Just classics. I was going through my buddy's collection that he pulled out when he came back. One of my favorites, Dratini. And he actually had a first edition Shadowless Dugong. And I'm like, why do you have this? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, dude, this card's 50 bucks. Now that was at the height of Pokemon Vintage Madness. Might not be so anymore. And as you can see, just a lot of vintage cards. Um, these were all second or third waves, so no Shadowless, but still a lot of fun. And if you notice, Nidorino, remember, Grass type in the original, but when they did them in Evolutions, they bumped them up to uh, Psychic for the poison. Same thing with Clefairy being an actual fairy type. Now again, one of the weird things a lot of people don't realize is, because there was no Blast Toys, Squirtle War Turtle were left out of Evolutions. Because Kadabra couldn't be reprinted because it used the likeness 
supposedly, of a famous magician, they actually stopped printing cadaver for so long. So you would see Alakazam V's, EX's, but that's why you never saw Abra, Cadaver, and Alakazam in evolutions. Same thing with Bulbasaur. No Ivysaur, Venusaur. Charmander! Diglett! Drowsy. Eh, that's enough for noises. Unless you like them. Comment below. <laughs> like, Craig, never do that again. And again, I'm going through a lot of these pretty quickly. I'll tell memories of them, but again, they're just nice vintage cards that I pulled back in the 90s or early 2000s. Oh, Pidgey, I love you. Wish they reprinted you. Do we got a really Timmy B sighting? Ba -ba -ba bam I always found that weird. Common. Common. Uh, that's stage one. The disrespect, Timmy. You better write a letter to the Pokemon company. Tag card Master Craig in it. Clefairy doll. And these are back in the days where this card is broken. They actually had to make an Ace Specs card of it where you could only run one. Its ability was so dumb. But this is back in the day where you could open a pack and you would get Pokemon Breeder as your heir. Oh boy! Every kid loves seeing a farmer with a rake instead of a Blastoise. Hey, Bill. And what you'll notice is they're all called trainers. There's no items, there's no supports. So you could theoretically get a lot of disruption cards, which happened a lot back in the meta, like energy removal. Boom, buy energy. You could just play that over and over. One of the only cards that was reprinted, actually, was Switch because, well, that mechanic's still in. And if you notice, then I got two more black stars, Mewtwo and Mew. I forget how you got these black stars, because uh, a lot of times, you know, you, you, they would just hand them to you at different places. Now we move on to Jungle. Probably my favorite set just because of Pidgeot and Butterfree, but darn near close to Fossil. Gosh, that was just beautiful. Nidoqueen, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I would always run Nidoran Double Kick back in the day uh, to beat Brock in Pokemon Yellow. Oh, look at all these beauts. The Evolutions. Where's my Pidgeot? Yes, I know. I probably traded away my original jungle, so I know that's just um, second edition, but eh, still counts. We got Flareon. Jolteon. Another Nidoqueen. And that was the thing about these sets. If you look closely, Nidoqueen here, non hollow. Nidoqueen there, hollow. Really, these sets where it says 64, it was more like 44, 46. Because what happened was when they made Fossil and Jungle, well, they needed to fill out the rest of the um, cards. You know, they needed to get all the Pokemon. And. You know, what happened was, in Jungle and Fossil, they just did, okay, hollow, not hollow, bam, done. Plenty of cards. Because otherwise, it would be such a small set. My favorite. My Love the Dodrio, too. Executor, silly. First edition. A lot of my first editions started to come in um, Jungle. But they more so came in Fossil, Team Rocket, and the Neo series. And what you'll notice about Jungle is it's a lot of bright colors. That was kind of the theme. It was supposed to be a lot brighter. I mean, look at this Eevee. Look at all that colors. That's beautiful. Same thing with Execute. Look at this guy. But when you get to Fossil, it's a lot grittier. And look, we have one of our first reprints. Rather, I shouldn't say reprint, but you have Base Set Pikachu and Jungle Pikachu. Oddly enough, the one who got the most reprints, or rather, this is how uh, many they did in the original, Electrode. There's like three of them. Oh yeah, Fossil. Look at that one out, oh, one out of 62. Look at that Articuno. Got that from a friend. Ditto! My mom pulled like three hollow dittos back in the day. She eventually let her son have one. 
Oh look, hollow ditto, regular ditto. Yay! Still yay, just a little yet less yay. Lapras. I actually have a first edition Lapras that I have sleeved up. I may send it in even though it's not great condition, but Lapras is one of the big hitters of the set because it's a fan favorite and it's first edition. Now you see how it starts going non-hollow. Still a beautiful card, but... And you'll start noticing how the colors are a little bit darker and grittier. Look at this Kingler. Those are some pretty clashing colors, if I do say so myself. First edition Cloyster. I mean, look at that orange, purple, Golduck ripping through. I mean, Fossil was a lot grittier. It's ghastly. Another one that got um, another reprint. Same thing with Haunter. Edition. First edition, one of my all-time faves, and a first edition, wheezing first edition. I think this whole page is almost first editions. Love that side. I'm always looking at his reflection. And finally, there was only one trainer card in Jungle's Pokeball. I don't know if I had it in. There's five in here. Remember Mr. Uh, Fuji? The uh, Pokemon Lavender Town guy? And that wraps it. <sighs> now I'm hoping everyone enjoyed my little vintage uh, trip down Nostalgia Lane. It's a lot of fun to share my collections with you guys. Again, some of them aren't going to be as big as you might expect. When, a lot of vintage cards I maybe didn't keep in good condition, I didn't collect as much as I wanted, so that's why I'm going all out for modern, making sure, no, I'm buying a booster box, then ETBs, then blisters, then some packs. I'm going all out to fill it out. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if um, you're interested in trading, maybe showing off your collection. I'd love to see. I'm sure our other viewers would. And please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out greatly. Let's me know you enjoy this content. And until next time, see ya!